Hello students! Let's talk about a few keys on your Chromebook that can be helpful as you do your schoolwork. I'll start by looking at the top row keys on your Chromebook. The first key in the top left is the Escape key. This key comes in handy when you want to exit the full screen mode on videos and other resources. As you can see when I press the Escape key, which shows just the abbreviation of ESC, it minimizes or make smaller the video I was watching. The next two keys are the back and forward keys. The back key takes you to the previous website and the forward key takes you to the most recent website you visited. These do not work if you have only visited one website. The next key is the refresh key. This refreshes the web page you were on. This especially comes in handy when a teacher has updated the Google Classroom stream or a website seemingly freezes. I don't know the name of this next key, but I do know what it does. By pressing this key, your web page will take up the entire screen. Press it again to make it go back to normal. The next key brings us to the Windows key. By pressing this key, we can see all of the windows we currently have open. The next two keys allow us to adjust the brightness of our screen. The smaller icon makes our screen darker, while the larger icon makes our screen brighter. Continuing down the row of keys at the top of our Chromebook keyboard brings us to the volume keys. These keys allow us to turn our sound up, down, or even to mute the sound. Let's look at a couple of the keyboard shortcut combinations to fix some of the issues you may encounter with your Chromebook. The first combination is the control, CTRL, and the search key, and the letter H. This sets your screen to the high contrast mode, which looks quite different. If you don't like this mode, press the control, search, and H key again to turn it off. You can zoom in and out using a keyboard combination. Zoom in using the control, shift, and the plus sign. Zoom out using the control, shift, and the minus sign. And my favorite, when my zoom options kind of get out of control, is the control, shift, and the zero key.